What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Today we're going to see how Bryce Young did against the Detroit Lions later this week. We're going to go over the 53-man roster and check out this new receiver that the Panthers got from the Chiefs. But first, let's jump into the film real quick. Alright guys, we're in the film room. Lions right here. Looks like a nickel coverage. Safety's dropping down. Bryce sees that. Hits Mingo right there, man. Easy money. Take a look at this. So like I said before, Lions on that nickel front. We got two linebackers right here. Four linemen. Fifth defensive back over here. Two safeties. But this safety right here in green, he's going to creep down and Bryce is going to see that. Take a look. Boom. Bryce sees that right there. Sees him creeping down. Linebacker's going to come in. That tells Bryce right there. Most likely man-to-man -man coverage, and here's why. Hayden's going to run that streak right here, right? Run that nine route. Since he's running that, if this safety were to play the robber position, nobody would pick him up, right? The safety would have to come over here to be able to pick up Hayden Hurst. So since it's man-to-man -man coverage, Mingo gets this guy with the slant, as you're going to see. Take a look. Whoop. Got him. Easy money right there, man. Really is a great read by Bryce. Sees that safety coming up, linebacker's blitzing. Knows he has a slant route, so if it's man-to-man -man coverage, it's going to be open. Hayden's going to take the safety out of the play right there, man. Good stuff. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, same logic on this play. Nickel front again. Cover two. Bryce sees that right away. Hits Ian Thomas, man. Take a look at this again. All right, guys, as we take a look at the safety right here, last time we saw him right here, it was man-to-man -man coverage. So this time, could be a blitz, could be a spy, could be man-to-man. -man. Maybe he picks up the slot. He goes inside like that. We don't know. But Bryce does. But Bryce does. Take a look. Immediately watches the DB bill. That tells Bryce most likely cover two. He goes over here. The safety goes over there. You got the DBs playing the flats as you're going to see. The important part though is watching this linebacker right here. What's he going to do when Ian Thomas approaches him? So as you're going to see, Ian Thomas goes right towards that linebacker. A little hitch route right there. Boom. Bryce sees that. Money shot. Great recognition by Bryce, recognizing cover two very early. Checks it down to Ian Thomas, man. Good stuff. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, on this play, Lions no longer in that nickel. They're in a 4-3 right here. Now, Bryce makes a great read. At first, I was like, why didn't Bryce just check this down? Take a look right here. So as I watched this play, I was like, all right, Lions 4-3 defense. Four linemen right here. Boom, boom, boom. Your three linebackers. So I'm like, all right, once the ball is snapped, we got Hayden run that drag right underneath. You got Ian Thomas going over the top. If they come down, easy, pick up Ian, they go over the top, go Hayden. Now I'm like, okay, why didn't Bryce just hit Hayden Hurst right here? I didn't, it didn't make sense. But what I realized was Bryce reads this coverage. Like I said before, 4-3 defense. There's no way they're putting this linebacker on Mingo running this out route right here. They're going to have this defensive back come up, right? Cover two, he's got the flat right here, the safety over the top. Bryce sees that from the jump. Take a look. He sees this. He sees the defender right there, ready to jump Mingo on that out route right there. That means outside receiver is going to get past him, as you're going to see. Boom. If Bryce just had this throw a little bit better timing, whoo, money. But look how fast he reads that coverage. Like I said before, I'm like, all right, why don't we just hit Hayden underneath? Now, it was open, but he realized there's no way they're putting a linebacker on Mingo running that out route. Man, this dude is smart. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, on this play, I'm just shocked that the Panthers would ever be in the single back ace pair formation. I mean, the blocking in general hasn't been great, and you're only going to give Bryce Young two targets. He only gets two targets. He gets no check down. He's going to have Hayden Hurst right here and Ian Thomas both blocking. EK's been struggling all preseason long. I mean, Spencer Brown kind of just does his thing, but you're only going to give Bryce Young two targets. Two targets against three defensive backs. This play to me just didn't make much sense. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did not understand this one. And let me rewind on that real quick. I'm not necessarily frustrated with the formation. It's only giving Bryce Young two targets on this. Hayden Hurst gets beat. EK gets beat. I mean, the blocking has been atrocious all preseason long, guys. And you're only going to give him two targets against three defensive backs. Lions do a pretty good job right there, picking up everybody. I mean, to me, man, this was just a recipe for disaster. I don't know what they thought was going to happen right here, man. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, right here, Lions are in a dime package. Take a look at this. We're going to break it down after. This was the only throw I thought Bryce may have missed his guy. Let's take a look at this again. 
So once the ball is snapped right here, bam, what do we see? We see cover one with a robber in the middle. So he's going to drop back right there. This safety right here, he's going to come up. Now Bryce sees that. Now this is the only one where I'm kind of like, Ugh, why didn't we just hit Hayden underneath right here? So take a look. So as you're going to see, the safety comes up. Bryce sees that. He has this receiver. Receiver does a great job stacking the DB right there. He gets on top of him. I guess it makes sense right there to throw that. I just, man, Hayden Hurst. Wide open right here in the middle. Bryce still hasn't thrown it yet. This was the only one I thought he may have missed. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Let's jump to the next one. So once again, man, the Lions come out in a dying package, man-to-man -man across the board. Now, I can see why teams would play the Panthers man-to-man. -man. Take a look at our receivers out there right now. So as we take a look at the personnel out there, on this play specifically, we got Adam, Hayden, Derek Wright, and Mingo. Now they're going to run a play action as you're going to see. Bam, they run the play action. Now right here, this end right here is going to press Derek Wright. And this is the problem running man coverage, is that if you can't beat the press, whew, that's one less target for Bryce Young because he already has no time. So if it takes you a second or two to get off the press, I mean, essentially you're out of the play. But Adam's going to do a great job right here, acting like bam, 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 keep going straight, and then bam, hits him with that post route right there. Take a look. Whoop, got him. Great separation right there, great move. Let's go to the next one. Same thing right here, guys. Once again, dime package from the Lions. Man-to-man -man across the board. And Bryce Young sees nothing but green grass in front of him. Take a look at this again. So like I said before, teams are going to want to play man-to-man -man when we've got Derek Wright, Mingo, Adam, and Hayden out there. The way to beat this is to run the ball. That's the way to beat this. Get second level. They've only got four guys right here in line of scrimmage. You got one guy coming up. I mean, man, if we can't beat the guys in front of us and we can't run the ball, it's going to be a long season. But the good news is Bryce Young has pocket presence, right? Even them only blitzing four people in a dime package, Bryce Young has enough pocket presence. Bam, EK gets beat again. Oh, man, it's going to be a long season. Great move by Bryce Young right there. All right, guys, right here, the Lions change up their defensive formation back to nickel, but watch Bryce Young, man. Textbook, 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 textbook. Take a look at this. Great stuff right here. So from the jump over here, we got trip sponge. Now you see the safety coming down on this, but watch what happens once they bring Mingo in motion. You see him drop back. Now Bryce Young's probably thinking, all right, it's got to be maybe cover one with the robber, like they've been playing, maybe cover two. But watch what he does right here with the play action. Acts like he's going to hand it off right simple play action you guys all know that but he's watching the defense right he's watching the defense and watch what he sees next take a look he sees everybody turn their back everybody turns their back little do they know bryce has his little secret weapon boom going right through the middle as you're gonna see bryce says easy money easy money and the key part right here is watch bryce young He's acting like he might throw it over here, even though there's no chance. There's no chance. But he doesn't want this defender rushing Raheem right here, right? Keeps him off. Raheem turns around. Bryce Young puts it on the money, man. Great stuff right there, man. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. Right here is the last play of the clip. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Look, Bryce Young's a genius. We just have to get him playmakers. We have to get the run game going, too. So let me know your thoughts. More content obviously coming soon. We're going to look at the receiver from the Chiefs, talk about the cuts. There's a lot to talk about before opening day, man. It's coming. It's coming less than two weeks away. It's almost here. Let's jump into the last play. So once again, Lions on that nickel package. Now right here, this guy right here is going to press Ian Thomas. Now when he presses Ian Thomas, it leaves these two defenders for these two receivers. He tells this defender, bam, you take the outside guy. I got Adam. You don't have Adam. Great move by Adam right here, man. Great move. Great separation. Woo. Quick look back to baby. Looks pretty good. Like I said, the team doesn't look awful. We just got to get the run game going. Obviously, the pass blocking has to improve. But the weapons aren't bad. But who's going to be that go-to target? Who is it going to be? That's what we have to figure out. Hopefully, before opening day, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.